one. All right. Jump, chain, 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 chain. Welcome back, folks, to the chain, 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 chain. Chain, the chain, chain. Chain, chain, chain. <laughs> chain. The livestream.net Final Fantasy VII Let's Play walkthrough. Oh, We've so just sad. found a dead man. Oh, he's not just oh, a dead man. Tifa's father. I never said he was just a dead man. I just said we just found him. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I think it's safe to say that he's dead, though. Oh, Tifa's running in. Oh, go stop her. Yep, yep, he's dead. Yep, he's he dead. He ain't gonna yell at you anymore. Now that Tifa's father's out of the way, Claude. <laughs> this is the perfect time to make your move. <laughs> oh, yeah. She needs a shoulder to cry on. Will you be that shoulder? Where did she... Whose sword was that? That That's she picked up? That's his. He left it in, in her father. It was, I, know, oh. I was kind of like... Was Why like, would... What? Why would he leave without it? Check. You know, Unless he's I, completely overcome with emotion. That's a good question. I've always wondered, like, why would Sephiroth just leave his sword there? But I think it's just that way Chifa would grab it and try to attack him with it, and then he could whack her with it. <laughs> 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 I don't know. You promised that you'd come when I was in trouble. Oh, God. Now that is just all now, sorts Now, I hard. want to know. That's one thing I've always wanted. Did that line actually happen? Is that, like, supposed to be what we're shown in, like, like a bit of the Last Order? Because Tifa kind of says something like that in Last Order, but you're like, oh, she doesn't know the cause will be there. But then yeah. at the same time, she says this line here in the background, so she why is say, Claude remembering um, something, like, or something like that? They, they do have, uh, like, in the real version, like, that's the interesting thing, because it's not, you know, in the, the real version of events, they do have the lines. The question is whether or not those are the lines that were from outside the event, or the lines that actually happened when it happened. That's a good question. Hmm. Yeah, and Last Order has the lines that, ha that are said in the real version of events are what are said when it actually happens. Okay. That's confusing. Yeah. I gotta yeah, say, I kind of liked how it, it fades into, like, the room, how it starts off dark, and then it can switch and the you know, the statue, and then it pans down to some stuff. It's traumatic. Mm-hmm. Now, this Fun part play. was always really cool looking. That was worth this Okay, you don't. I didn't down. know Sephiroth was English. <laughs> <It's> really <laughs> creepy, Zombie. Norman is with you, Mother. I'll always be with you, Mother. I'm sorry, Mother. Don't get angry, Mother. <laughs> Those bangs are always kind of weird. Hi, Nicole. <laughs> I was gonna say that you beat me again. <laughs> oh, man. You beat me last time too. <laughs> did her I migrate or her? Why am I? My sad. Did it? My family, I don't think friends, it's actually an I because there's these yeah. weird little dot things. There's a couple more like uh, yeah, elsewhere I saw in her those. tank, but there's this that one is right there. <laughs> <laughs> but only it's other only it's right. Well, I mean, left eye actually is glowing pink. And on the other side, it's not. And then that just happens like, to be the side that you find it. <laughs> yeah, so I, I guess I don't know what's going on with that. Apparently, oh. though, I read somewhere that um, in this game, the writing on her helmet is supposed to say Made in Hong Kong or something. That they did, yes. they did for a joke. <laughs> in this, in the original game, it says that. Uh, yeah, what they just showed, and they showed the when this, they just showed that, this close uh, up on her back face and there. forth is actually replicated at the very end of the game. With the fight. Yes. Oh. Blink, 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 That's the end. Oh, end of the story. No, but when they showed the clo that close up of Genova's face, like it's, I think it's impossible to read, but apparently, like they said, I, re I read somewhere that they. That where the weird little indiscriminate 
thing that's on her that looks like writing actually apparently says made in Hong Kong. <laughs> yeah, no, it's actually and they not were impossible doing to it make just out. To be funny. You just need a high enough resolution to be able to pick it out. Yeah. And that just wasn't available on most uh, screens and uh, TVs. Back but then. it says something different in between this one, Crisis Core, and Last Order, I believe. Yeah, they All did three of them say something later. different. Um, I believe uh, La- uh, Crisis Core and Advent Children have the same text, which is her date of unearthing and date of internment. Mm-hmm. And I forget what it is in Last... Oh, no, in Last Order, I believe it's technically the same dates, but written in standard years as opposed to the revised uh, calendar system that they used. The Mu era, Bridget. whatever it is. Yeah, granted, the, the the revised calendar system basically translates into, if it's the old era, it's that year, you know, in, in you know what our years were. If it's the new era, just pretend like it uh, says two thousand instead of zero. So pretend it's two thousand one instead of zero 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 one. Okay. So, when you know, so the 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 game actually happened in you know two thousand five technically. And Advent Children in 2007, and Dirge in 2008, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Yeah. I just thought it was really funny, though, when I read that. It's like, really? <laughs> <laughs> That's kind of funny. At least they're having fun with it, right? Yep. Oh, This part was always makes me go, oh, like I just did. You were so bad. You were so bad. You I thought you were so gone. I was really sad. Oh, Aww. Cloud, that's so cute. I was really sad. Oh. Da, 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 da. Look at this up for myself. You're all connected. I like how they hear the big long story, then they just leave. Aren't you going to sleep first? Nope. Oh, is he gonna Actually. close to get to eat there? What a fascinating like story. Go back upstairs, Pixel. Back up. Yeah. No, yeah. wait. Oh. No, wait. No. no, go back upstairs. Go back upstairs. You're missing. I, well, I believe what he's, he tried to and cut out where he was rebuffed, and he has to talk with Barrett first. Yeah. No, upstairs puts us down. I suppose Cloud tried to just walk so it didn't listen. If you can go back in, I don't think it's gonna. Well, it's kind of fun to walk around these houses. I always like how Calm kind of looked like some old-style European little village. Yeah, like a Tudor village. So, no, no, well, it's, it actually, it... um, with the walled cities, it's very, uh, very German-esque. That's right. Yeah, like I was, um, um, going through... Of course, the interesting thing about, uh, Calm is the section that you visit here in Final Fantasy Seven is the same section that you have the boss fight in in Dirge of Cerberus. You know, in the organization that doesn't exist except a monster from Shinron, or a robot from Shinron. The helicopter Army. fight? Yeah. Oh, it's in this little square? Yeah. I guess I never really noticed that. I really wasn't quite sure where in the town it took place. I figured they just kind of made up some new layout or whatever. They did change the layout. But the um, the water tower is the same, okay. so and it does happen at a join in the city walls. Okay, so yeah, I remember that's rather obvious that Pixel had okay. Now you just pause there for a second. Um, but that it's supposed to be the same area. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. I could just puke. You <laughs> are. <laughs> I'm gonna be in soldier. When I grow up, I'm gonna be in Blitzball. Oh, I remember that. 
remember for a long time everybody thought that that was like a typo and people actually got into arguments over it and it's like, no, the kid really did say he wanted to be a blitzball on purpose. Yep. He's just a kid being stupid. He's a masochist. <laughs> it was cute though, I like that part in Final Fantasy X. Uh, by the way, um, that little tower to the left, right at the top left edge of the screen, right before he entered the door, mm -hmm. that's where Marlene is. Oh, oh. the end? Uh-huh. Okay. I'll just see when it goes back out. Okay, you're right. Aww. Yeah. So I, I, I do find it, you know, sort of mind-boggling that they didn't go visit. Well, the question is, are they there yet? I, I presume so. I presume that they would have, you know, went and uh, left ASAP. Well, because I always thought that, you know, how are they going to get there? I mean, I just kind of, you know, assume that they weren't there yet. Well, Barrett talks about Marlene as though she's already left when we were at the, um, the edge of uh, Midgar. I guess I don't know then. Hmm. I'll have to go ask somebody from Square Enix. Yep. I'll go get the clubs. Call them up and be like, what's going on? I always I get do... stuck behind this guy in the blue. You know, every <laughs> time you come out a door, he always makes the same path up. <laughs> <laughs> that, I, that happened to me too. You have to like wait for him to come up, walk up the stairs. <laughs> Her bar. Yay! You know, after taking a look at Glitterberry's map analysis, I'm wondering if this bar itself might have also been one of the um, early prototype models for the Seventh Heaven bar. Um, since apparently the bar in Junon is actually one of the old Seventh Heaven prototypes. Oh, really? Hmm. Yeah. That's kind of cool to know. It's true. It's true! Uh, witch monster. Looks <laughs> we're using the reactor. We can't stand it to shame me. I like the way the people are dressed. They're like all wearing like dresses and. She's got a bonnet on. Mm hmm. And that guy almost has leader hose in. <laughs> He's bald too. <laughs> Yeah, I think Calm is supposed to be, like, rather, like, German. Oh, yes. Especially spelling Calm with a K, it seems... I probably shouldn't say stuff like that, but it seems kind of like something more German-y. <laughs> German-ish. The closet under the stairs is distinctly European. Because I'm such an expert, everybody should listen to what I have to say. <laughs> <laughs> Tell, me. Tell me! Yeah! Actually, I already know these things. <laughs> well, for the benefit for, of people who have not played this game yet... I guess that's all we learned today. No. Saving? What is this? Saving? <laughs> Plot point. Hello, Mr. Plot point. Turns out that's not Sephiroth or anyone related to the plot at all. It's just a whole bunch of guys in black cloaks with weird swords. Sephiroth does not even wear a cloak. He wears a jacket thing. I thought it was kind of funny that it was like cloak or cape. It's like, it's actually just wearing a jacket. <laughs> Well, this needs a bad translation, maybe. I don't know, I'd, sometimes I think it might just be the, um... One of the, uh... The, the copies 